Can we roll over? Roll over! Oh my gosh, he's so close, babe. Roll over! Come on. He's so frustrated. Come on. He's so close. Hey. Baby Ollie likes raspberries. You know what a raspberry is, right? What? Oh, she got Pluto. You have to get real peeled in a second, huh? Some frisbees, huh? That's what she wanted. This is our son, baby. This is our boy. He's gonna do amazing things. Good morning, guys. This morning we got a cranky baby, huh? You being cranky? It's okay. <laughs> He's just not very happy this morning, so we're trying to make him happy. We're trying to make him happy. Missy's got a doctor's appointment today, so I am packing the diaper bag for her. Got a couple diapers all ready to go, and another outfit. I love this one. It says Daddy's Playmate. And I love this color red, too. Red looks really good on Ollie. I packed a diaper bag, and she told me to pack it, but there's like... There's a diaper. There's an outfit. She's pretty. Oh, Ollie. Ollie, look at this. Good morning, guys. Um, me and my mom are headed to my doctor's appointment. This is the appointment that I'm going to talk to my doctor about the results of last week's um, ultrasound, which I did a video on, so you guys can go watch it if you didn't watch it yet. But this is, I'm basically going to tell him, like, I want surgery. Give me surgery. And if he's like, I don't know, I don't think you should, then I have to go find a new doctor, and I really, really wanted to get it done before um, the end of the year. Crossing my fingers that it, that's even possible. But yeah, headed out here, I'm pretty much so sore, I could cry my eyes out. Like, my whole body hurts so bad, I wanted to just sit in bed, but I had to get up early and get ready and stuff. And we got Oliver, and he's sleeping. He's being a really good boy so far. He wasn't being so good before we left, but then once I got him in the car, he was totally knocked out and he's been good so hopefully he's good once we get into the appointment. Okay, I finally just had to get off the computer and stand up and do something. <laughs> All my work I do is on the computer so I, if I find I've been doing it for too long I just, I get, I'm like, ah, I gotta get up and do something. I made the bed. I think Missy left me with a load of laundry. That should be fun. And we got dirty clothes. These are clean. Clean clothes. I'll put right there for Missy to do later. Dirty clothes stash starts right there. And um, we also this morning received. Look at this. We just find we literally just find Gatorade bottles now. So Missy's obsessed. Oh, we got two packages today. So we got diapers.com. This is our wipes because we use um, water wipes. And then we also got Honest Co. Let's do an honest unboxing right here. How about this? This isn't something normally that I partake in, but whatever. We're going to go with it. Horrible, horrible, horrible camera stand. Honest. Honestly, I'm not kidding you guys. This is this is from Honest. Yeah. Are you getting um pretty fussy? You're kind of done sitting in the car seat. It's like, yeah, mom, I went out of here. We haven't seen the doctor yet, but he's just starting to get a little mad, aren't you? Like, I'm gonna stick my whole hand in my mouth. They gave us this huge box for two little things of diapers. <laughs> so funny. Their boxing is really cool. I wonder if Jessica Alba did this too. But yeah, we got uh, two packs of Honest Diapers, and we're actually just going to be using these while Missy strips uh, the cloth diapers, because, I don't know, that's mommy talk. Go watch her new video. We're going to be using Honest when we go on our winter vacation at the end of this month, um, so we don't have to worry about cloth diapers. And what's cool about the Honest is they're still like, there's no chemicals, they're super absorbent, they're hyperallergenic, they don't sit in landfills forever, so. They make the packaging really hard to open. Yeah, this is what we went with. It's like a green, blue plaid. These are pretty cool. I don't know if I just totally stole Missy's Thunder there just now, doing an honest unboxing. So I pretty much just got out of probably the most annoying appointment ever. I'm pretty frustrated right now. It's gonna take me a minute to like gather all this information in my head. I'm like really frustrated. I don't know, it was it was a very annoying appointment. Basically my doctor is being a real pain in the butt. These are our water wipes. We get water wipes. Um, you order them from Amazon. No preservatives, no smell or anything like that. Um, oh, and actually, these are our... I'm totally putting those in there. Not very nice. 
<laughs> these are the honest diapers that we got before. Look how tiny they are. These were the newborn ones. We ordered these. They didn't come in time, and we had Oliver. And then by the time we got home, we were already using cloth. Okay, so now that I've had time to like really process the appointment, basically my doctor is just kind of giving me the whole, I still don't really think that it's necessary for you to have this uh, surgery. We still don't really, we can't really determine, you know, what caused your other two losses. He wants me to come back though and see a perinatologist with him, which is a high risk, high risk doctor. Um, and that way, cause he doesn't, he. Basically his job is to just get people pregnant, but he doesn't actually take care of people that are pregnant. So he, he wants someone who takes care of pregnancies to actually say, what do you think? Basically I have to make another appointment, sit down with him and my high-risk doctor, and like talk it all over and figure out what she thinks. My opinion is that she's probably gonna be like, uh, duh, you need the surgery, you know? But at the same time, I don't know, because these doctors have been kind of irritating me <laughs> I don't know it was definitely a weird appointment I don't know I I just I can't imagine getting pregnant again with the uterus with the septum in my uterus you know so I don't know. we're home hey. we're home what's up is that my future playmaker yep he slept like the whole way oh, hi hey. hi my little oh. oh, sorry Hi, my little man, my little Julie man. What's up? <laughs> he was so good. <laughs> when the doctor came in, and the doctor was like, wow, your baby's really pretty and like really cute. What? I don't know, whatever. He just okay. thought Oliver was so, super cute. And Oliver just sat there and stared at him the entire time, and he's like <laughs> laughing at him. He's like, hey, I like you. You yeah. compliment me. And Oliver's just like, <sighs> and was like laughing. I couldn't even pay attention to the doctor. I kept giggling in the middle of him talking about like the severity of my uterus. <laughs> and I was like, he's just being so cute. <laughs> it's so funny. There you go. Dude. Look at you. You get your whole bed. You look super small in that bed. These are the most adorable diapers in the world. What do you, I mean, come on. That is so cute. I mean, they probably look like, like a cloth diaper, but they're disposable. I'm gonna put them in these and I'm gonna start doing some stripping of my cloth diapers and also kind of testing with them. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I just did a video about it. Just, do they know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay, cool, because my diapers are being really annoying. He, he doesn't have like a big old fluffy butt that's like out to here. Doesn't have a fluffy bum. You got normal, he's like, yeah, look at me. Look at me and those little booties. <laughs> <laughs> look at baby Ollie, he's watching Aladdin, you guys. This is my all time favorite Disney movie. Oh my gosh, I love Aladdin. I watched it all the time when I was a kid, and I even love watching it now, it's so cool. Are you gonna be a little Aladdin? Him. Sorry. Do you like Aladdin? Is Aladdin your favorite? It's not my By favorite. By the way, Missy's pumping, so <laughs> hashtag it's not, awkward. It's not my favorite, but it might be too dark for him to really enjoy. He needs stuff that's like bright and like colorful. Yeah. What's your guys' favorite Disney movie? Let me know in the comments. I think Aladdin is definitely my favorite. Do you like it, boy? Beauty and the Beast. Missy votes Beauty and the Beast. Okay, so it really seems like Oliver is just done being in that thing. I think he wants to like stand up a little bit, so I'm, I'm debating on getting him an extra saucer. Um, I don't know if he's quite big enough, but I decided to put him in um, Bailey's walker. Okay, Bailey's a girl, it's my little cousin. She used to um, use this. I just wanted to see how he likes it, and look at this. <laughs> of course it's girly, but look how happy he is. He gets to sit up. His feet, I put a little something under him so he could kind of stand a little bit. But he just wants to like bounce and jump and lift himself up. And so I basically just stuff this in here so it kind of fits a little bit tighter around him. And he seems quite happy. Are you gonna roll over? Come here, come over here. Oh, 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 come on. A little further. <laughs> so close. <laughs> I just want to help him so badly. Come on, Oliver. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on, Oliver. You can do it. Hi. I'm wearing my Gryffindor shirt because this little guy was like, hey, I'm going to puke and I'm going to get it all over you, but I'm not going to get any on me. Is that okay? I'm totally okay with that as long as it's not on him. <laughs> Wait, so he's in Ravenclaw. I'm in Gryffindor and you're, you're a Hufflepuff. Where the wild things 20%. 20%. It's a, it's a new version. 
corduroy. I hate that books are like $20. I know, they're really expensive. Yeah. It's easier buying them on the iPad, they're like 10 bucks. Yeah. But not the same. Is this seriously the coolest book? I know, ready? Right? Humpty Dumpty. Yeah, and you look at he's drinking tea, and then <laughs> he's broken. <laughs> this is so cute. Okay, look. Okay, look at the five little. We were just trying to figure out the five little piggies. Remember that? <laughs> this little piggy went to the market. Okay, and then that little piggy stayed home. He's still looking at this. Like he's like, what is going on here? This little piggy had roast beef, and this little piggy had none. <laughs> this little piggy went. And look at the itsy bitsy spider who went up Aww. the water spout. And then down came the rain and washed the spider out. <laughs> and then out came the sun and it dried up all the rain. And so the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. It's pretty interesting. He's huh? like, that is just a it's lot to take circle in. Circle of life, huh? Oh yeah, this is where it's at. Harry Potter section. Look, they even have wands. Here's your scarf. Oh hey, <laughs> this would totally match It really me. does match. <laughs> Um, support, so supporting Gryffindor right now. We go to Florida oh in March. God. We're gonna get one that we're gonna find a one that chooses us, and we're both gonna get a wand. Oh my god! I'm gonna make you do it. You're gonna do it, and Ollie's gonna get a wand. Well, he has to wait till he's twelve. He has to wait till he's twelve. Yes, you get your wand when you're no eleven. Oh my god! I think it's eleven. I've seriously never seen a Starbucks with this many food items. This is awesome. Look at rustic apple tart. Oh, that looks good. And they have a pumpkin cupcake. Look at that Rice Krispie bar. Oh, I thought it was one giant Rice Krispie bar. It's a bunch of little ones. So looky here, we got two different butter beers. Mine's cold, and then Missy's is hot. And I guess it's got caramel, toffee nut, and yours has like a cinnamon dolce thing in it. Really? Try it. <laughs> That's a lot of, I just got foam. Mm, very sweet. Yeah. Do you feel like a wizard? Yes. <laughs> I would try those cold ones. Oh, it's so good though. I feel like a dirty little muggle. I feel like I'm sitting in three broomsticks just sipping on butter beer. I got a mouthful of caramel. And then look at we also got some sweets. I got a cannoli and Missy got a Rice Krispie treat. That's good. Want to try it? It tastes just like the one we had in New York. I never had it in New York. Really? Try it. You gotta try it. The outside is amazing. Try the cannoli. Just try it. What's the inside though? It's just like a creamy, sweetie thing. Eh. Oh, I have deja vu from your super taster video. <laughs> You're done. And I totally forgot. I haven't even asked Miss. Are you Team Gale or Team Pita? That's like a thing, right? You wanna know what team I am? Team Gale or Team Pita? Team Gale. She's Team Gale. Oh, it's gonna be interesting. We're walking to buy a baby in. There it is. Oh. It's in my mouth. It's in my mouth. <laughs> it's, they like blow. I think it's like there's like a, a fan and they're blowing baby powder. That is true. And it's just going. <laughs> Aww. There's all kinds of cool bath stuff here, but look at this. You can just buy a bucket. This bucket is probably pretty expensive and you can just bathe your baby in a bucket. What? Yeah, there's a baby sitting in a bucket. <laughs> so weird. It's European. <laughs> oh, those Europeans so. over there. <laughs> <laughs> You've been working on that for a while now, and I, I think you got <laughs> like your whole fist in there. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was hilarious. Oh, <laughs> your hands are always so good. Look what we just found for when we're on our winter vacation. It's going to be really cold where we're going to be at, so we have to get him a little hat with little mittens. And it fits him so good. And this is a newborn, and it fits him. Yeah. His head isn't so big after all. I guess so, huh? He's like... Look who's all fresh and clean. Hey, dude. Hi, you just have a good shower? Yeah? You trying to pull down the... The towel and show everyone your little baby bits? No. You know what you need? You know what we haven't done in a while? We haven't done any YouTube magic in a while. And this guy needs a diaper on, he needs pajamas on, you need to be in bed, okay? So let's just get it going. Do you mind if I perform a spell on you right now? Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Voila! There you go, baby boy. Hey. Now you got your jammies on. Granted, they're Halloween PJs, but that's okay. You're cool with that, huh? Yeah, you are. 
Come here, roll over, roll over. Oh my gosh, he's so close, babe. Roll over, come on. He's so frustrated. Come on, he's so close. You can do it, buddy, come on. On your belly, on your belly, almost, almost. Oh my gosh. Let's get on your belly. Move to your belly, move to your belly, move to your belly, move to your belly. Move to your belly. Oh, it's assisted. Oh. <laughs> Time to say goodnight, huh? Yeah. Say bye-bye, guys. Give the vlog a thumbs up with your thumb. <laughs> Give the vlog a thumbs up, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. I'm trying to get the hang of it, get, getting the reins down. It's it, This is definitely, a, I think, a different way that I've used the reins, so I'm kind of have to practice and remember how to do it again. But I'm getting there. And with a little bit of practice, maybe I'll be better soon. Huh, Duchess? I'm the problem, huh? <laughs> Look, there's my shadow. Hey, yo, Brian.